Welcome to Langrisser Lore, the series where you should comment below on what character you want to see next because your ideas are better than mine. And today, I'm happy to bring you the story of Elwyn, the not useless Lewin. Elwyn is a descendant of Light and takes his entire character direction from his ancestors. From Ledin, he got the red hair, the bravado, and the falling in love with a holy woman. And from Lewin, well, he took his entire skill set and did it one better. I'm not even kidding. Both have a passive that lets them heal after dealing damage, which is really only useful at 6 stars. Both like to yell at enemies to debuff them. And both of them probably only ever come off your bench to clear that godforsaken thunder dragon. But aside from being horribly uncreative in his design, Elwyn actually has an interesting story. And because I'm feeling generous, and a little guilty for not having done one of these videos in a while, I'm going to cover all three of his stories. Now, all three stories have the same beginning, which is going to save me a whole lot of time. Elwyn is the Prince of Baldia, but the kingdom fell and his family died when he was a child. The attack was carried out by the Demon Tribe, who correctly assumed that ending the line of Lewin would finally mean the story of the games would have to change into something actually interesting. Predictably, he was rescued by Doran, who taught him everything he knows and raised Elwyn on the run. Tragically, Elwyn loses his mentor and friend when Phyas finds them and kills Doran. Elwyn again escapes and takes to working as a wandering mercenary. Here the story starts in earnest. After the fall of Baldia, there is a power vacuum left. With no one to lead them, the kingdom's people devolve into chaos. This is when Bernhardt and the Rhaegard Empire make their move. Bernhardt wants to end all war, which in and of itself is not a bad thing. In fact, he and Elwyn agree that order and stability are needed to settle the conflicts in the region. The only problem is that Bernhardt believes that war is the only way to end war. Only when the entire continent is conquered can there be peace. The blood of the innocent will water the soil future generations will farm. Or some such cheesy villain line. From here, the story splits into three paths. Path one is the same old Langrisser story. Boy encounters tragedy. Boy meets girl. Boy learns about kick-ass good sword that will solve the world's problems. Demons show up. Bozel tries to get the bad sword. And the hero uses the good sword to beat the bad guy and banish Bozel, stealing the bad sword in the process. Look, the characters' names may change, but every story is exactly the same. But path two is where things get extra spicy. Elwyn decides that Bernhardt is right. The only way to end war is totalitarianism and a strong centralized military that is there to protect the people and their rights. Because that always works. Thousand Year Reich says what? Now, before you get on my case about drawing unfair Nazi comparisons, let me point something out. What kind of name is Bernhardt? What kind of name is Egbert? And while Elwin is not a German name in and of itself, you know what it is? Eldwin. Different, but not really. I'm not suggesting that all Germans are Nazis. What I am suggesting is that a game studio that recycles the same tired plot over and over and over again might have decided that there were not enough World War II games out there and decided to make one of their own with a little bitty sprinkle of RPG on top. No, that was not a Panzer Shrek reference. So in Path 2, Elwyn betrays the Descendants of Light, abandoning Lyanna, Lana, and Cherry, and actively fighting against them. While Elwyn feels bad fighting and killing his friends, he still believes it is for the greater good. My personal theory is he wanted to break up with Lyanna, and didn't know how to deal with it. So instead of being a mature adult, he decided to kill his problems. Look, teenagers will go to any lengths to avoid embarrassment. Now, Path 3 is exclusive to Langrisser Mobile, and is the most interesting path by far, in my opinion. Elwyn decides that the 
endless struggle between Chaos and Lucerus is the real problem. War will always continue as long as these gods are being selfish and toying with people's lives. He uses the Langrisser to stop the resurrection of Chaos and strikes down Lucerus. Between you and me, I think Elwyn was pissed he had to pull the pity rate only to get an off-banner Geralt and Layla instead of the crossover hero. He establishes himself as a god-king and rules over the continent. In the process, he alienates Hein, and Lyanna refuses to speak with him. Rather than ending poverty and suffering, he only causes more. Elwyn slowly loses his mind and his faith, stopping him from being able to call forth the true power of the Langrisser. With the world plunged in even further into disarray, Chaos is able to resurrect himself, empowered by the mess that Elwyn has made. Since he can no longer call forth the power of the Langrisser, Elwyn is defeated and forced out of his own kingdom. His friends band together to pick him up, and with the help of Amelia and young Jessica, Chaos is again defeated. Now, if you take nothing out of this video, remember this one thing. Whenever you are faced with a tough decision, always choose the option with the lowest percentage of death and destruction. So whenever you are told to do something, ask yourself, is there any scenario in which action could lead to the death and destruction of you, your friends, or any deities? If there is even a one in a million chance, it's too risky. So I don't care that your mom told you to do the dishes or take the trash out. You could die. Just don't do it. It's what I do. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, comment below and give me some more ideas on what characters to do. Uh, I'm also going to try and start doing some other videos just because I feel like I do way too many Langris or Lores. And while I love making them, I don't want my content to get too stale. Uh, so comment below what you want to see or any other video ideas that you have. Throw them at me. I'll consider anything uh, because, honestly, I just love having something to do. Uh, I've been a little bit busy, so I'm sorry that my upload schedule has been not as frequent or as reliable. Uh, but once the school year starts to settle in, it'll be easier for me to make these videos. So thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.